Welcome back to my channel and Vlogmas part 4. I see lots of new faces on this channel. Welcome. Um, this Vlogmas will be different because we are currently in the lockdown number 4 and we got tickets for Covent Garden Lego on 21st of December. It got cancelled. We had reservation at 44 Mayfair, it got cancelled too. And also we plan to have a walk in Mayfair after the dinner, so we cancel it too. And uh, basically all our plans for the last two weeks of 2020 got cancelled. Also it was announced that there is a new strain of virus in the UK, so the next day almost all European countries closed the borders, so um, many of my friends just forced to stay in the UK and they can't spend this Christmas with their families. Yeah, I'm sorry to start this vlogmas like this, but it is 2020, it is what it is. Um, actually, I have a good news as well, because I got something from Bolton Hill. This was the only one thing I bought on Black Friday sale and by the way, if you're looking for artificial Christmas tree that looks like real, this brand is the great one, as well as um, the white company. So this is the garland, Fraser Fur. So it looks like real. Um, here we have bulbs replacement. And this is our garland. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Not too shabby, I'd say. Um, I don't really like how this switch is just hanging there. Um, I'll try to hide it maybe um, behind the branches. Um, yeah, so that's that's the look. I added some pine cones so it looks more real and also I added more Christmas lights. Also, this table is going back to the office and new dining table arrives on Sunday, I guess. So I'm so excited. By the way, on the right hand side, we have this chest of drawers and recently I just changed the way all the books are displayed. I feel like when kids can see the covers, they're more interested and engaged with the books. So I put everything else in this green box from Ikea and every other day I just swap them. Morning again. So yesterday I received an email that our table arrives today and it's here. It's so pretty, all the details. It makes our dining room so cozy. It gives this homey vibe. Also, we have two beautiful vintage chairs that we picked up two years ago. So I plan to redecorate them. We just need to buy the same chalk paint and repaint them. I think we might even try this distress technique, but for now, we're not in a rush. it's Christmas Eve today and we're not religious really so we don't celebrate any Christmases at all but as we live in the UK for so many years I don't see the point why not to have this delicious festive dinner so I made Russian salad yesterday although we call it Olivier also there will be caviar sandwiches which all of my British friends hate so much but for me personally it's like a symbol symbol of new year celebration so we have this small turkey defrosted and ready to be roasted with some tangerines garlic and rosemary oh we have these pigs and blankets too so our christmas dinner is sort of a mix of the food i used to eat when i was a kid and some of the british traditional food like turkey roasted potato and those little sausages wrapped in the bacon Now turkey is in the oven for a while, so I want to create centerpiece for our table. I cut some cedar branches, or as we call it, tuya, also some eucalyptus branches, and I may use some candles as well. Also for today's dinner we have this special crockery from Sport, 
it's their Christmas tree set and it's gorgeous. guys excuse my outfit it's just such a crazy weather today it's so cold and we were told we're supposed to have snow today but instead we have in sunshine I have a really strange feeling um, because the only thing I've been doing was eating so after all the food that we've had a long walk is all we need right now as you can see streets are deserted of course but it's normal people are staying at home during this time of the year but high street is busy <laughs> as always Let's wrap this video up, shall we? Thank you so much for being with me this year. We didn't travel much, we didn't leave UK at all, but that's not important. The most important thing is that I'm healthy, my family is healthy, and everything else is just not that significant. I wish you all the best in New Year. Take care of yourselves and your family, and I'll see you next year. Bye!